to DIY Dream and today we're going to be doing something that I have wanted to do for a very long time now. I personally love treats. I love every single kind of candy and that's why today we're going to be baking for the very first time on this channel. So I thought it would be fun to make some sweet, yummy, traditional treats and I thought we could come together and make some cupcakes. Now I've already baked these cupcakes but I thought it would be fun to look at five weird pumpkin tips that I've never used before and just try them out and see how they work and find my favorite out of all of them. If you like this fun, interesting content, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and you might become part of DIY Dreams. Now, without further ado, on to the video. So the very first thing that we're going to do is I've already pre-chopped the amount of butter we're going to be doing. By the way, I will have all of the measurements in the description box down below, and I'm just going to um, plop it in. I have washed my hands, so do not worry. And um, I'm just going to mix it up for five minutes. I know that might seem like a long time, but you just want it to double in size. spatula and scrape down the sides and also scrape down the blender. And I just have a plate that I'm going to set the blender on. So I think it's looking pretty good. Next we're going to add in icing sugar and I just have this one cup measurement. Now I've already measured it out but this is just going to make it easier and more controlled. Just gonna scrape down the blender as good as we can. And I'm gonna add my second batch of icing sugar. And then for my last batch, I'm just going to add the whole bowl of icing sugar because as I said earlier, I've already actually measured it. Um, and so the measurements don't matter in this instance. Now by now, your butter and um, icing sugar will be completely combined. And now we're going to be adding our vanilla abstract and our milk because this is at the consistency um, and it's not good for piping. And since we're going to need to pipe this, we're going to need it a little bit thinner. So as I said, I've already done the measurements, um, but you, I will leave, as I said earlier, um, the measurements in the description box down below. So I'm also going to scrape it down one last time and then we're going to get this into piping tips. So I just thought we're going to divide up our icing for our cupcakes. I just have some holes here and I'm just going to divide up my icing. Um, so I don't, I actually haven't decided what colors I'm going to be doing yet. Um, I was thinking green because we're going to need leaves um, and I was also thinking I like blue so we're going to do blue um, and I kind of think my channel's colors, they, this is a lot of purple so we should do purple um, and one of the tips is like on the packaging, um, it showed a rose so I thought it would be fun to do like a, a very pretty rose um, in the shot. So I'm just going to divide my icing. To be honest, I don't know how these flowers are going to turn out. Um, I'm hoping they're going to be good because, um, like, you know, I, I want them to be good. And I, as I said, I've only really done one tip, one main tip, like a star tip. Um, so this is going to be interesting how I like different tips. So now I'm just going to mix up my colors. So as I said, we're going to do green because it's a traditional. So here's just the green. I'm just going to put it onto the side. Actually, I should fill my pipe with that. 
so I've actually already, here's a tip. Um, put your piping bags when you're filling them up in a glass because that way you can, like, you don't have to be holding them the whole time and you just fold them over. It's really easy and it's so much better than just, you know, holding it um, if you're a beginner like me. And so what tip? I have them all right here, already in their bags. So what tip? How about this one? This one's really weird. It is really weird. So I think we're gonna do that for leaves because it kind of has, it reminds me of a leaf. So I'm just filling up my piping bag. Um, so I'm just going to fold it. This might be a little noisy. <laughs> Um, so here are the icings. I've done all of them. And I also have some pre-made cupcakes right here. So I guess we're just going to get started. And I think we should start, we're obviously going to do green later. I'm just gonna move these out of the way. Um, I'm really excited for the rose, which is the pink. This is what the cupcakes turned out like. I iced them all. I think they're absolutely beautiful, but I do have a favorite. I like this one the most. Um, and I don't really have a not favorite. I, I think I like them all. And over here, I also kind of just have like, it wasn't the flower, but just the other tip. So I think this was a big thumbs up. I think it was a big success. And I might do this again in the future, like just trying random tips, or maybe even if this video succeeds, getting, um, like making a cake, an actual cake. So I hope you enjoyed that buttercream recipe. I certainly did. Thanks to my grandma for giving me the blender. Now, till next time, bye guys.